praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to 10 minutes with God today in Jesus' name. In the next 10 minutes, you are going to be praising God, you are going to be praying, and we are going to be reading the Word of God and expounding the Word of God and interpreting the Word of God as God illuminates us, and we shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you for everything you have done, we thank you for your power, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you because at the ancient of days and as old as you are, you will never fail, you will never falter. Amen. We come before you this morning saying, thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is said that you love thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is your food. Lord, we give you praise, we give you thanks, we give you honor, we give you glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are the most high God, you are God, you are king, you are helper. You are our king, you are our maker. That water the people have put down, oh God, will be blessed. As they take it, let it minister strength and healing and her desire in them in Jesus' name. As they to take their back, let every sickness, every problem in the body, every long study issue, let it melt away in Jesus' name. Those who are barren, let them begin to receive their fruit, their children in Jesus' name. Those who are jobless, open their eyes to see where the jobs are and let them get it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done in our life. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Oshé, Oluwa. Oshé, Oluwa. Eminore, Oluwa. Shebawa no re, Oluwa. Awa dupe ore, a todumodum. Awa dupe ore, a toshumoshu. Awa dupe ore, i bagbobo. Shawa no re, Oluwa. Oya, shawa no re, Oluwa. Shebawa no. Re o lua, she bawa no re o lua, she bawa no re o lua. How I do pay o re a to do mo do, how I do pay o re a to shu mo shu, how I do pay o re i ba bo bo, she bawa no re o lua. We thank God for everything He has done for us. This morning we are looking at part two. Of the series on divine connection, and we are looking at how God connected Esther. Esther was unconnected, but God connected the unconnected. I told us in one of my previous um, messages that God is the connector of the unconnected, He revealed Himself to me as the connector of the unconnected. Every individual that God used, God revealed himself to them in a particular measure and with something pungent. Yes, God is a savior. God is a redeemer. God is the one that does everything, does this, does that. But there is something specific that will come your own way that God will say, I am this one. For Moses, God said, I am that I am. For Abraham, God said, I am the almighty God. And God told me specifically that I am the connector of the unconnected. Those who are not connected, God said, I am the one that will connect them. And this morning, we want to look at another example. And the example that God connected is who? Esther. Esther, Esther was an orphan. And eventually, she got married to the king Ahasuerus. The first wife of the king Ahasuerus during a particular feast, a particular festival, in the book of Esther chapter 1, chapter 2, during that festival, the king said, the queen Vashti should come forward and let people see her beauty because it was a time of celebration. Queen Vashti said, she's not coming. She didn't go. And the, everybody there said, what Queen Vashti did is not good. 
that if other men and other women see what she did, they also can start doing those things that Queen Vashti did and they can start disobeying their husband and it will spread in the kingdom at that time. And the king inclined to what they said. And the king said, he's going to take another wife. That he probably was going to put away. And immediately Vashti was put aside. And a search party was set for a new queen. And Esther was one of the people that went in for the position of, queen, of queenship. Mordecai, the um, uh, uncle of Esther, he prepared her. Actually, he was the one that raised her. And he told her, just go and go and give, um, give it a try. I'm telling you, you will not know what you can do in life and except to try. If you keep saying eh, this one, give keeping excuses, you will not amount to anything in life, my brother, my sister. You have to make some moves. You have to take some steps. Even for Esther to enter into that competition of becoming a queen, it's a great step. So, my brother, my sister, it is not a crime for you to aspire to be great. It is not a crime for you to own a car. It is not a crime for you. To, it is not a sin for you to own a house. It is not a sin for you to take your children to Chicken Republic to tantalize us, to enjoy yourself, and to go to the beach and to, and to enjoy and to joke and to, and to laugh. It is not bad to take suya. It is not bad to take chicken. It is not bad because people who are there. They think that poverty is godliness. Poverty does not mean godliness. And being a servant does not mean godliness. You can be a king and still be a, be a godly person. You can be a queen and still be a godly person. That is the example that Esther's life showed us. The way other people prepared, Esther did not prepare that way. She prepared in her own way. I'm telling you, just the way you are, you are unique. Just the way you are, you are special. Just the way you are, there's somebody that desires you, that wants you, that is just you he wants, that is just your kind of person that he wants. You don't need to try to start mimicking, trying to start being like other people. Be yourself. Esther went in as herself. Other people were doing like this, doing like this. Esther went in as Esther. With the anointing, with the power, with the backing of God. With the hand of God. The connector of the unconnected. God connected Esther to the king Ahasuerus. And what happened when they were selecting, they selected Esther. Esther was selected. I am telling you, you are going to be selected. Anywhere favor is going to be put on people, you will be selected in Jesus' name. But you have to do one thing. You have to appear. Somebody say appear. Somebody say show up. Somebody say come out. Somebody say apply. Somebody say try. Somebody say attempt. Somebody say make the move. You have to make the move. You have to take that step. You don't have to just remain inside your house and be praying and say, God, bring money. My brother, my sister, go out and money is going to come to you. You don't have to just stay in the house and say, ah, there's no way, there's nothing. This world, God, bring boy, let somebody knock the door now. Just come into the house and say, God, I should give you this one million. If you are praying like that, it's possible. But is that what Esther did? Did Esther hide herself in her room and was praying that the king should come, come and knock on my door and say, you are the queen? No! You see, there are principles that we have to abide by. There are principles that we have to follow. Esther, there was a competition. Esther came out and she also competed and she was selected. If she did not compete, she will not be selected. If she didn't come out, she will not be selected. I'm telling you, come out. I'm telling you, make that move. You are you is just plantain. You are plantain in your village. That, you are, that is your village. You are from Ondo. Why can't you package the plantain and move it to Lagos? You will get buyers. Why can't you just buy the plantain from the local market, put the table in front of a busy place in the street before 12 noon, from morning to 12 noon, you are going to make more than 100% of what you, what you bought the, the the moment you bought the plantain, with the anointing of God upon your life, every day you are going to be making double. If you go to start the business with 5,000, in that very day to turn to 10,000, the following day to become 20,000, the following day to become 40, the following day to become 60. That is what God can do. That is what God will do. But if you are just keep that 5,000 inside under your pillow, it will not multiply. You have to take a step. And that step you are taking today in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes and go to God in prayer and say, God, you that connected Esther, connect me, O God. 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 
God, you are the connector of the unconnected. As I take this move, as I distribute this letter, oh God of application, as I, as I, as I take this move, as maybe and my wife will meet, let her become pregnant. Lord, as my children go to school, let them succeed. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Because I said it because some people are traveling. Her husband is in Enugu, uh, the wife is in Taraba, and then they say they want to give birth to a child. It doesn't happen that way. You have to be together. You are going to pray and say, Lord, connect me the way you connected Esther. Esther appeared. As I appear, anywhere I appear, let favor speak on my face. Let favor speak for me. This YouTube video, let it become, let it become a blessing to many people all over the world. In the name of Jesus, let it bless the billions of people in the world. In the name of Jesus, let people be blessed. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I'm praying the way you connected Esther, connect that woman, connect that man, connect that boy, connect that girl, connect that family, connect that nation, connect that country, connect that village connect that town in the name of jesus oh god connect oh god connect oh god connect oh god connect you that have that medical condition go to the hospital god will connect you to the right doctor in the name of jesus as you go to the hospital there's a specialist there he knows about it he has done it before god will use him to eat you god will use him to treat you in the name of jesus as you're going to that business there's somebody that god will connect you with that's going to be buying from you buying from you that is going to favor you. Go out now and take that step. Go out now like Esther. She went out. She went in for the competition. There's something you are looking for, job, check the newspapers and begin to apply. People will see your name. They will say this person is the one we will take. They have not seen your face, they will take you. When they see your face, they will take you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray and say, Lord, this day is my day of connection. This day is my day of connection. Connect me divinely. In Jesus' name we pray. <coughs> Father, we are going out now. We are not staying at home. Connect us in the name of Jesus. You are the connector of the unconnected. According to your word. According to your revelation. Esther went in for that competition. As you go in, we will be selected in the name of Jesus. All my hearers, the water they have put down, let it be blessed in the name of Jesus. The handkerchief they have put down, turn it to become... A mighty vessel, a mighty um, vessel in your hand that will wrought miracles in the name of Jesus. Everything they lay down and catch it on will prosper in the name of Jesus. Accident is not your portion, death is not your portion in the name of Jesus. That student that is dull, right now receive a strong memory in the name of Jesus. Receive strength in your brain in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the answer of prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's have seven hallelujah. 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 God sent me to you. He said, He is the connector of the unconnected. He will connect you. Have a great day.